I don't know if that's this guy's name. He's in Ireland, so it's probably it's probably not Roberto. But you know, we vibe. Okay. Who put the red filter on? Oh, whoa, whoa! Yo, you can't just be out there with the cheeks out. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pandalorian, and today's game we are going to be playing is called Our Lady of Sorrow. Now, this game is a found footage horror game, which I am really excited to play. As I love found footage horror movies, it's something about the way that it doesn't really have a lot of background music, and they don't really have a lot of, like, jump scares. They have jump scares, but not, like, too many, like a Scream movie or, like, Friday the 13th. Like, those rely on, like, a lot of... Like a lot of jump scares like coming out of nowhere like you know it's coming but it's so sudden that you don't know the exact second it's gonna happen so it kind of gets you that is what i love so much about it and that is why i am so excited to play this game but as always before we get into it i just want to remind you guys that if you are new to the channel or you find yourselves returning on the daily please feel free to leave a like on this video comment down below found footage funny moments i don't know i'm hoping that there's some some yucks in this <laughs> and also remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Isn't it the best way to support me and support the channel? I thank you so much in advance, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, we got our coffee. Clink. Cheers, my friends. I just got home from work, so I am exhausted. But let's hit play. And see... This tape and its contents are the property of the Diocese of... Oh, censoring. Any attempt to copy, redistribute, or publicly display this tape should be considered dangerous. Not illegal, dangerous. This tape must only be played under the strict supervision of members of the church. Oh, well, yeah, your boy is gonna get hung up by his toes. Ireland, 1998. Hey, it's the year I was born. I'm gonna be 25 this year, I'm an old man. Let's see where this... Oh! Oh, so it's found footage, but I can play through it? Oh! Oh! Okay, so left click doesn't do anything to my knowledge. We have Wasid. No jump. No crouch. No sprint. But we do have a flashlight. Alright, so it seems as though we are... Oh! Kill Cree Abbey. Built in 1458 as a monastery, the Abbey has seen many things. Viking raids, fires, rituals, and black masses. The Abbey is best known as the burial site of many famous priests and renowned nuns and people of the Catholic faith. The Great Tower was once used as a lookout. Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's really a need to explore too much in this game. I highly doubt this game has too many little secrets, but it could. Uh, the entrance and outer walls of the Abbey have been rebuilt many times. We know this by the look and the shape of the different stones and how some have been eroded by the elements more than others. Walls that have fallen have been left as is. Archaeologists... Oh, walls that have fallen have been left as is. Archaeologists have found many things between the walls, such as old animal bones, coins, artifacts, and even some small human bone. Okay, well, I mean, that makes sense. They all did some pretty wild stuff back in the day. Oh, oh, okay. Left button is going to be interact. Okay. We got, we got any spooky little ghosts? We got any spooky little ghost friends? Probably. The Abbey is home to many tales and myths from across the centuries. Stories of ancient monks stowed away beneath the mossy stone, buried in prayer. Stories of the sieges and bloodshed of the Irish at the hands of the English nobles. Goddamn Englishmen. The most famous story of all is the story of... And was it Kalich? Kalik? I'm probably butchering the hell out of that name. Known the locals as the Lady of Sorrow. Okay. Our Lady of Perpetual. I feel like there's a church that I heard is like really famous. I don't know if it's in like England or Ireland or somewhere, but it's like Our Lady of Perpetual Sorrow or something like that. And I was like, oh, isn't that just a happy little church to to you know mosey on down to every Sunday morning with you and Gertrude and the rest of your flower bonnet friends. Looks like it needs a key. Looks like you just need to kick it hard enough. Alright, he's saying the walls are falling. I feel like this should be more than fine. Alright, so there's another gate that way. Oh, that's getting louder. Okay. You need a key too? Locked. 
Okay, so I'm assuming that one doesn't open at all, because that one says locked, the other one says needs a key. So I'm going to assume... But you never want to assume. Oh my god, this is getting longer. The tale of the Lady of Sorrow has been passed down through many years, and the true story is heavily debated amongst local historians. What is commonly... What is common throughout these different tellings is the tale of a young witch who long ago set a curse upon the local priest. The priest roused, roused the locals who burned her alive in the very church that stands upon these grounds. It was said by the locals who watched her burn that the weeping image of the Virgin Mary appeared upon her face and then she cackled as the flames engulfed her. The priest commanded her remains to be thrown in the well and the entrance sealed. That well remains sealed to this day. Oh god, are we gonna be those people? Are we gonna be those people that are like, mm, yes. Well has been sealed for hundreds of years with evil spirit bones? You don't mind if I crack that open like a nice can of coke, do you? Locked up tight. Okay, I feel like I there was, a, there was a joke there, but I'm not smart or swift enough to make one. Jesus Christ, this... Am I getting pinholed? I feel like my flashlight's being held lower and lower. And the fact... Like, I, see, the thing is, like, I'm expecting a jump scare, but I'm not getting one. Yo, is that a thing? Wasn't there a story about the, the Virgin Mary and there was, like, a statue of her that, like, cried blood? Pick up church key. Is she a taller? I don't know. But I thought I remember that there was, like, a statue that was, like, legitimately crying blood or red, like... <laughs> Mother God! My friend, oh, why you do the scare? Why you do? Don't do. Um, I mean, it could have been a prank, I don't know. It was one of those online things where, like, you can't believe everything you see online. But either way, it, like, freaks me out to think that that, like, could be a thing. Alright, so, like, does, uh, does this key open you? And the thing is, like, first off, I don't know why we came alone to this, but it doesn't seem like it's necessarily nighttime, which makes this way scarier. Because it's not like it's dark. I mean, we have our flashlights. It's going to be evening, but... I don't, really, I don't really know. Use key. Okay. Oh, my God. Why? Why? What are any of you doing? What church is this? This is real? These, like, real bodies are statues. Creepy as hell. Here is where the image of the Virgin Mary appeared during the burning of the witch. The church long ago placed a statue here. The locals used to hold communion here in hope she would appear again. Some say that on cold autumn nights, such as this one, you can faintly smell burning flesh and wood and sometimes even the cackling of a witch. Okay. Looks like something fits here. Sit. My sack whips nuts out onto plate. What fits there? I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to give in these bowls. Is it money? Are you actually passing around the donation plate right now? Because that's not cool, man. Also, I just noticed the time in the bottom left. So, uh. Also, I just thought October 25th. I was like, is that today? The day of, like, I'm recording this? Because that would freak me out to no end. Okay, so it looks like I gotta go find something? But I don't... I don't... What are... Girl, you got tall as hell. Give. Give. If I turn around and you're there, I'm gonna be pissed. If I turn around, I'm gonna be mad. Don't you do it. Mary. Mary. Be, be cool. Be cool. Alright. All of you be cool. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm a nice, nice guy. Just trying to put your- Oh, you're all gone. Alright, was it something I said? Okay. What, is that mine? Oh, baby, boy, baby. Where the hell did you all come from? Hmm, pick up key. Oh, whoa. What is that statue? I thought she was burned, not shot with arrows. Unless that's something else biblical. I... I never really paid attention in Sunday school. Also, I just realized we flash-forwarded, like... 
in like what half hour 45 minutes that is not chill not cash money it's not even debit and or credit all right okay no you're still locked up tight okay but i picked up a key the key to where also i feel like if i recorded this on a nokia my camera quality would be better than this Oh, use key. All right, it is to that. Oh, sick. I'm going to get my cheeks spread apart by a bunch of statues. Pick up the what? Crypt key. Oh, that's the thing back there. I like the wind, bro. Oh, it's the well. Is that open? Did we make the move? Did we do the stupid? Oh, we might have done the stupid. Hang on. We need a sip of coffee. Cause she's standing right there, man. Mm. Mary, would you like coffee? I don't, I don't know what nuns are and aren't allowed to have, but I don't know if you had coffee back in your day, but this stuff's pretty good. You want a sip? Okay, suit yourself. Just don't come and snap my neck later and be like, oh, he never offered me anything. Cause you know damn well I asked if you wanted a sip. She's gonna do it. She's gonna come and she's gonna kick my ass. I offered it. I tried to make friends. Okay. Turn on music box, because that seems like a great idea. Why? Oh, oh, okay. Like, there's only been one real jump scare in this game, and that's why I'm really freaked out. Oh, God, the blood goes... Okay, it doesn't go that way. So I wish the music were a little louder, but... Oh. What is that? Oh, God, your handwriting is awful. Don't let her out. Give your... What is this? For us? Give you. Oh, pray. Pray for us. God help us or God save us. Give your life. I don't want to give you anything. Do you have anything for me, though? <laughs> Just. I don't want to. I'm not giving you shit. Anyway, you got like a key or something? Like, what are we doing here, girly? Oh, that was horrifying. And the fucking music box still playing doesn't help. Yeah, um, I simply don't want to be here anymore. I think I would like to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. So I'm going to sing this song and hope that this is the way out because my skin is crawling. And I don't want to be here. Oh, my friends, why can't I get to my car? Oh, where is I supposed to go? I don't like actively have anything to give you my life with. So what do you want? Oh, uh, you're going to really make me interact with you. I don't want to play with you. Unless is there like something over here? No. It just shows the blood and oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now I'm beginning to use 2% of my brain and I'm assuming I am making that mistake and cracking this well wide open. Yep. Yep, would you? Would, oh, enter the well. Oh, it's already open. You're, 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 you're making me do this? Huh? We for real? I offered you coffee and you want me to go down to the well? It's going to be like that. All right, bet. Also, how do we end? Did we just swan dive in? A prayer of protection. They had to put a prayer in the VHS. Oh boy. That's something like, oh, 
Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And the devil is, oh, he vibrating. The devil's getting his little jig on. Amen. That went down to Georgia and hit the, hit, hit the gritty. I'm just, I'm just saying things. I don't, I don't, I don't think anymore. Oh! Shadow of thy wings will I take! I don't know what that means! I thought we already said the prayer! Oh. Man, it did jump in a well. Did I wreck, ruin this camera? Oh! Bro, you said this was a well. Oh man, I'm so getting my cheeks beat. Like a bangle. Oh no. She's gonna be like some sea hag. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, man. These found footage things never have music. So you never know what to expect. And, oh, I'm getting the shimmy sham shivers. Oh, whoa, okay. Listen here, you spooky bitch. I'm going to offer you one more time a sip of this premium roast. Mm. What do you say? A sip of that and you don't, um, you don't bend me over? Hmm? Hmm? Mother of God, okay. Oh. Okay, I guess, you know, she's not bending me over yet. I guess that's a, a plus. Am I supposed to choose a way, lady? Sorry, our lady? Um, left, right. Uh, left sounds, it has the same eh as in death, and right has the I like in life. So I'm gonna go right. Sound logic? We're, you, we're getting phonemic in this bitch. Watch me die in like two seconds. Because I can't make good decisions. <laughs> oh, what's going on, party people? Why you look so down? The man, the myth, the legend, Roberto just arrived. I don't know if that's this guy's name. He's in Ireland, so it's, pro it's probably not Roberto. But, you know, we vibe. Okay. Who put the red filter on? Oh, whoa, whoa! Yo, you can't just be out there with the cheeks out. Anyway. Needs a candle. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna assume... The girl on all fours is going towards the candle. I don't know what compels me to believe that, but here we go. Making sure my recording's still good. Sometimes I get a little worried. Oh. No, thank you. I just need a candle in the middle of a well built like 500 years ago. Because that's a reasonable thing to expect of me. Oh, I see the light of the candle. But where's... Sadako, or whatever her name is. Oh, baby boy, baby. Okay, I still have my, my flashlight. Alright. I don't know when this adventure started, but since I've been paying attention to the camera time, we've been in, in this place for about two hours. And in those two hours, we have literally met Satan. We, okay, I forgot you guys were here. As long as you guys, uh, don't start crumbling my bones, we're gonna be a-okay. Girl, where is she hiding? My skin is bubbling. I can't even say goosebumps. Oh, it is bubbling. Ooh. Never back down, never what? Never back down, never what? Oh, you need a candle too? Alright, so I guess it didn't matter which way we went. In Nick A30, we trust. Amen. Oh, it's the no sprint too. The fact that we... Dude, she's like six feet tall. Resurrect this bitch and get her to the NBA. Stat! Be up there doing standing dunks. 
Oh, did I see the light? Yep, there it is. Oh, well, I didn't know if that was a shadow or her. Just give me the candle. I'm going back. Oh, I'm getting the fuzzies. That's the thing. I, I love... I, somebody commented on one of my... It was either one of the shorts or one of the videos the other day. But it was like the lower quality of like the, the visuals of a game, the scarier. And I have to agree. Like I played some like AAA horror games and they've never really like they, they're, they're scary, but they're never like overtly scary. Like they're never like up here. They're like a down here type of thing. But then you have these games where the graphics are literally just pixels like OG Doom. And I'm just over here pit sweating, skin crawling. There's not even any music. I'm not getting chased. It's just pure, unadulterated fear that a priest is going to come out and touch me inappropriately. Okay, that way is locked. So we're just going to keep going. Just uh, as long as you guys don't start turning around like those statues in Amnesia. Is it Amnesia that they follow you? I think so. I just got to keep talking. And maybe, just maybe I won't a little. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a ladder. <laughs> oh my. Mm. See, they're not even jump scares. Oh, I have no control over what's going on. Oh. Oh, hey. Hiya. Is that, uh, is that so? Is that how we're- is that how we're doing this? In the shadow of thy wings, I will take refuge. Okay. Or will I take refuge? I am a vessel. I don't think I want to be a vessel. I don't want to be a ve If God is our father, then Satan must be our cousin. Is that in the Bible? Is that a direct quote? Pray for us. Is that... If, if God's our father, looking at the way thing, the, the, the family tree, I think Satan's like our first cousin. He could be second cousin, though. Is this me? It's flashlight can't... Oh, God. Is there like a stab wound on our chest? Oh. What happened? That's the well. Okay. It is 3.36 a.m. It has been... Jesus, what is that? Uh, from seven, so that's five, eight hours. We've been cocked for eight and a half hours. Oh, boy. And it wants me to go back to the prayer room. Oh, boy. Yeah, you didn't have those wings last time I was here. You didn't have those wings at all. Oh, I've lost control once more. Oh, boy. Where's this going? Mother! Eh. Are they holding my body? Where am I going? That gave me a heart attack. But like I said, it wasn't even like a fast jump scare. It was like a simple turn around and she's there. You have reached the end of this tape. Please seek the help of a member of the Catholic Church immediately. You imagine if after I played this game, I just got my car sped to the nearest one. Wait, we believe this tape to be a vessel, a conduit for the evil spirits to spread their plague. If I went to a church and said, I need to be cleansed because I played this game, this game is a vessel. Like, I feel like they'd look at me like I was crazy. As crazy as a lot of people can be, I feel like they would definitely just turn me away. Please dispose of this tape as soon as possible. He has escaped. Oopsies. 
Yeah. Ever since 2020, would anybody really be scared? Please pray with us. Gonna be another jump scare at the end of this, I know it. Are we not praying? Oh! Thank you for playing. Created by Dan McGrath. Alright. That was really scary for something that, like I said, no music, very few jump scares. It's just raw, unfiltered, thematic experiences like these that just make you feel scared because you don't know what to expect. It's You're so ingrained on the jump scares and the heightening of the music and then it either drops and you get jump scared or they try to twist it up a little bit and it's like, drop. Oh, there's nothing behind me. And then you turn back around and then boom, they got you. That's why I always enjoy the Scream franchise because the Scream franchise really keeps you on your toes because there might be like in the newest one, I won't like, but they had like three moments, I was gonna say I won't spoil, where you just think there's gonna be a jump scare in a row. And it's like boom, boom, boom and nothing. It is like the, the, the coolest experience because you, you expect to be scared and then you're not. So you feel edged. You feel like hor horror edged. I, I, I don't I don't think that's the way I'm meaning to say this, but that is how I'm going to say it. But if you guys enjoyed this game, please feel free to leave a like down below. Sorry, I'm like really spacing. Uh, leave a comment down below about what your favorite part was. My favorite part, honestly, was just the, the no music. It's something about the no music, the crackling of the old camera, the, the buzzing of the audio that really sets you into like an uneasy tone. So that was my favorite part. Let me know what you guys' favorite part was down in the comments below. And also feel free to subscribe if you have not already with the bell notification on, so you are alerted when all new content reaches the channel as soon as it drops. Plus you get to support me in the channel. Isn't that pretty cool? I think it's pretty cool. But as always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night post watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Ooh.